what's up guys how is it going welcome back to the channel in today's tutorial we're teaching you how to fetch data from an api in react native so if you find this video to be useful consider subscribing by hitting the bell icon and like the video as well without any further ado let's get started so this is the site where you'll be fetching our data from that's a json place with that typical.com it's just a free fake api for testing and prototyping purposes it comes with a set of six common resources thus you can fetch posts comments albums photos to do's and also you can fetch users as well so in here you'll be fetching posts so as you can see it returns an array of objects with a unique id body and a title let's copy the link above so let's get rid of that Let's import use state from React. Use state is a hook in React that returns an array of two parameters, the first one being the current state and the next one that manipulates or updates the current state. And passing an empty array which will be holding our puts. So let's create a constant URL and paste in the link we just copied. So in here we need to import use effect from React. So the use effect is basically used for rendering side effects in functional components. So within the use effect, it has a callback function and also a dependency array. Let's proceed to fetch the URL above with a fetch method. Then we have a response back and transform the response into a JSON format. We then take that JSON and set the data to the JSON. If you have any error, we then use the catch method with the error as a parameter and console.error the error message. Let's create one more state for keeping track of when the data is fetched. Let's initially pass in a value of true. So within the use effect, we have one more method that's the finally. So finally, if the data is fetched, we'll be setting the loading to false. So within the view, let's use some curly braces and write some JS centers in there. So we'll be using thinner representing here. If the state of the loading is true, we have a test component which says loading. Otherwise, we'll map through the data and for each post, we'll be having an instant return of a view with two test components. The first one will be fetching the title of the post and the second one We'll be fetching the body of the post itself. So let's do so. So the title and the body in here is what you are trying to fetch. Let's give some styles to the post title. A font size of 30 and a font weight of bold. Let's proceed to give the body also some stylings. Let's give it a font size of 15 and a color of blue just to differentiate from the title. Let's also give styles to the view within which the text is found. Let's give it a flex of 1, align item center and also just file content center. Let's try to check it out. Whoa, there we go. Our data has successfully been fetched with a bolding title and the body of the title in blue color. Hope you find this video to be useful. Consider subscribing and also leave a comment in the section below. You can share for the video to reach many. See you in our next tutorial. Until then, stay tuned.